People wrote this on my video, and there's a misunderstanding on the Spain research. The word Spain is scale of positive and negative. They don't measure emotions as vibrational frequencies the way that the New Age spiritual community thinks. They measure it by frequency. Frequency is how many times they feel it or how strongly they feel it. They found out the emotion of authenticity was stronger, not higher, stronger. There was no machine that was measuring the vibrational frequencies of people. It took 689 undergraduate students and they measured how frequent their emotions were and how strong they were. So they went through all the lists and they found out that authenticity was the strongest. Meaning authenticity brought more emotions of happiness and inner peace. And they use the word frequency is how frequent they felt those emotions. New Age spiritual community took that as high vibrational frequencies, which it was just misunderstood. But let's talk about vibrational frequencies and emotions. If you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla. Let's bring out some facts. Our thoughts create emotions, and our emotions emit a vibrational frequency. Emotion. Energy and motion. Vibration is the movement and frequency means how fast or slow it's going. When we feel certain emotions, our brain waves emit a vibrational frequency. Now, a lot of people in the spiritual community believe that we should only be in high vibrational frequency and avoid low vibration, but that's not the human experience. I'm going to explain each vibrational frequency. Delta is the low vibrational frequency between one and three hertz. That is when we are in a deep sleep. And when we sleep, our body releases proteins and this is an excellent time to heal. That's why when you don't feel good and you're sick, you want to sleep. Delta, low vibration, healing. Remember that. So theta is also low vibration between four to seven hertz. Kids under the age of seven live in theta. They don't have beta brain waves yet. They just live in pure imagination. Theta is, you know, when you just wake up and you're kind of foggy before your coffee, that's theta. You're in theta also when you're under hypnosis or when you're meditating. Alpha is a little higher, it's between 8 to 12 hertz. Simple, calm awareness. You can feel negative emotions when you're in alpha and you're aware of them. You can feel positive emotions and you're aware of them. This is a very peaceful, self-reflective, relaxed state. We get into higher vibrations, beta. Beta has low, medium, and high, between 13 and 30 hertz. The low beta is if you're casually listening to me right now, but not really absorbing what I'm saying. You're alert, but you're like, meh. <laughs> People who are listening to this and actually absorbing what I'm saying, you might be on mid beta. So that's like problem solving and high alertness. High beta brain waves can be both positive or negative. So positive high beta, and by positive, I mean good feeling emotions, are like playing sports. So it's high alertness, problem solving, and you're trying to reach a goal. So you're excited, you're feeling exhilarated. Negative high beta or crappy feeling emotions or anxiety, high levels of anger and high stress. So high beta positive is exhilaration, dancing, active, and high beta negative is feeling like you're in constant survival mode. Before I go into gamma, I want to say that in alpha, you can feel gratitude and love but also anger and sadness. But if you are self-reflective and not judging yourself, your brain waves will be staying on alpha consistently. So gamma, which is the highest vibrational frequency brainwave that we've recorded at 30 Hertz. And that is kind of a sense of euphoria. When someone makes a joke and you just burst out laughing. When you feel an exhilarating feeling in your body, the thing is, is the highest vibrational frequency is short-lived. That's why you've never been extremely ecstatic for very long periods of time. At one point, it goes down back to usually alpha, but it has been recorded. People who meditate for longer than 30 minutes and they focus on their heart and love and extreme gratitude can live gamma brainwaves for a little bit longer than most people. And they've also recorded spontaneous healing, healing of emotions and healing of the body. So you can heal in gamma. But remember what I said at the beginning? You can also heal in Delta. Raising your frequency and meditating for a long time and feeling love and gratitude is good, but it's also okay to lower your vibrational frequency. So scientifically, only living in high vibrational frequencies doesn't make sense. I wanna address one last thing. People who talk about toxic people who, you know, those people who are very extreme and they're like, those are low vibes. 
that has nothing to do with vibrational frequencies. Hate to break it to you, but the people who hurt other people are not in low vibes. They're in the beta fight vibes. They need the low vibes because this is where self-reflection happens. And usually people who hurt other people don't care and don't self-reflect. So let's stop dividing ourselves and judging ourselves for simple human emotions. We don't judge babies. I don't think we should judge adults. Love and gratitude is not a high vibe only emotion. It could be felt in all the vibrational frequencies. I used to believe in high vibes only until I started educating myself and I started meditating and realized there is no up or down. There is no high or low. Everything just is. What you resist persists. And it's always okay to change our beliefs when the old beliefs no longer serve us.